Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. And today we're gonna be moving on to the fourth world with world 4-1 or level 4-1. I'm excited, hopefully you guys are too. Level three was quite difficult. But as you can see, Crazy Dave is here during the night. You know, they used to call me Fogman because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> you are crazy, Crazy Dave. So he really just was like a crazy guy everybody was afraid of, but now he's sort of like, I don't know, Mr. Popular because he can protect you from the apocalypse. Hmm. So yeah, we did get a new plant last time. We got this sea shroom and we are actually able to use our mushroom friends now, which is great. Uh, I think that we wanna maybe keep with the, the sun shrooms for now. We do have a new zombie up here, the Jack in the Box zombie. That is not gonna be fun to deal with. And the fog you can see on the right will be playing a factor into a couple things. So we need to be very worried about a lot of things. So I think we're actually gonna go for a chopper strategy. We haven't used chopper on the water before. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. I think it'll be fun. Let's get to it. So yeah, a little low cost in general, but I think uh, it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and do that and that. And that's a good start. Maybe potato mines were unnecessary with the puff shrooms, but as you can see on the field, there is fog in the way. And the fog's gonna be a big problem because we won't be able to see where the zombies are coming in from. We'll actually have to use sound cues to an extent, and sometimes you might be able to just barely be able to make out a detail to, or two of the zombie, especially as you can see on the top lane here, their heads do poke out, which is a little bit of a hint. When it comes to if zombies are popping into the water lane, you just sort of have to listen for the splash of them hopping in. So it can be a little bit tense from here on out. It is not an easy world. In some ways, it can be argued to be the most difficult world. World five is also very difficult, but in its own different way. Um, I, I feel like I've struggled more with this world than I have that one as a problem. Looks like they actually gave us two zombies on the top lane, which is pretty courteous. Level four one, I don't think is gonna be too bad, but these sea shrooms have worked just like the push, puff shrooms do, just a water version of them. Not a watered down version of them, just a water version. Which, you know, is still pretty gosh darn helpful. Uh, just having free, mushrooms and stuff. But I think that's why the chomper is gonna be a little bit more helpful later on. He's probably gonna be sort of our back line of defense that way. If, actually, maybe that's not a good idea. Cause if he eats it through all of our mushrooms and gets to our chomper, well that means that we're done for. So maybe if I just put the chompers out front and then put the puff shrooms behind him, maybe that's a better idea. And for right now, we are totally vulnerable when it comes to uh, the the fog. We just don't really have anything we can do against it. So we just have to keep moving, keep surviving. I'm definitely gonna try to get some uh, sun shrooms onto the, what's it called? The, uh, wait, what was I saying? <laughs> we need to get sun shrooms onto the water and then puff shrooms down there on the bottom and then we'll get chopper set up there and don't forget to put down the sea shrooms. That's all I was trying to say, but I lost my train of thought because I was focusing on actually playing. Okay, we're almost at enough sun for a Chomper, I just don't think it's a good idea just yet. Especially since it's still only brown coats coming out here. Hmm. I'm probably going to do that third row of uh, mush uh, puff shrooms is probably gonna turn into chompers soon enough. Oh no, not good. Where is he? Where is he? Jack in the box zombies, not good. Oh, he exploded, good. So he explodes whenever he wants really, as far as I understand. We wanna to try to get rid of him as soon as possible. And limited range against him can sometimes not be so great. So that's really why I wanna start doing a bit of this. Uh, when he shows up, hopefully the chomper will be able to chomp him before he can do anything worthwhile. It'll be hard to tell. Oh man, now I'm nervous. Cause that kind of stuff can go south real quickly. Uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and put a puff room there. Sure, why not? If you, okay, look at these puff rooms working on this cone head down there. I'm so proud of them. I'll put another chomper there. And then we can start putting puff shrooms in front of the uh, walnuts and stuff too, just as, you know, a precaution. I'm gonna put a chomper there, walnut there. Awesome stuff, put another puff room there just to protect that chomper. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. You might see that this guy's there. I wanna put some, some tangle weeds right there as well. But yeah, this is where the game is like constantly intense. There's never going to be sort of like a dull moment. They are constantly gonna be zombies coming. You need to make sure you use every second of the round uh, properly so that you actually survive. If not, things might actually get a little bit difficult for you. Uh, go ahead and get our final sea shroom there and then we'll start uh, getting some chompers out there, but that'll be tough because we won't have too much of a protection for them right now but I guess we should keep them on the same row. I'm trying to keep things pretty concise just because uh, 
it's hard to really control what's going on. But I feel like using choppers in this level is actually quite uncommon, which is why I found it fun to do it. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I don't know what happened to the jacket box zombie, but it seems like whoever dealt with it did a fine, pretty fine job, so I'm happy. Got a puff shroom there, get a mushroom there. Just trying to use those whenever I can, because there's just a lot of action happening on the screen now. It's like almost impossible to keep up with all of it. We will try to protect that. It's pretty decent. Put you there, I guess. And hey, look at that, the level's done already. That went by really quickly. <laughs> Intense, but quick. I like it. So there we go, we get ourselves a brand new plant. It is the Plantern. Lights up an area letting you see through the fog. All right, cool stuff. So I had a couple people you know, asking me if I could use Snopey a little more often. And I figured maybe this round we could. I think we're gonna go back to the Sunflower this time. Maybe use Potato Mine. Snoopy. Uh, okay, we do have the Ulster, the football zombie. We have the Jack in the Box. Besides that, it's not too bad. Um, okay, so if I'm gonna have this combo, it's a little expensive, hard to get up at first. So maybe we could uh, actually, hmm, do something like that. Get the planter in. And then I need walnuts. I definitely need walnuts. Okay, that should be good. I want to start, you know, introducing more mushrooms because you know it's something we can do. Uh, but for now, things are still a little risky, so I'm just gonna keep with this. Planter is gonna be very helpful with figuring out how things are working here. But I think we get some pretty crucial plants in the next uh, couple of rounds. That'll be very helpful. But yeah, I'm doing things a little different than I think I would normally approach this, which I think is fun. It just you know shows different strategies of what's possible. I mean, my main focus is still to showcase the. Uh, the newest plant we have unlocked, which of course right now is the Plantern. The Plantern has made appearances in uh, some other PVZ games. I know he's in, uh, of course, probably PVZ 2. I can't remember to be honest. Uh, but he's in PVZ Heroes. If you put him in an environment in PVZ Heroes, he gets plus one one, which is pretty useful. He's a pretty powerful plant there. But oh gosh, uh, are you actually gonna survive this? That's sort of the problem is I actually did not know he was there. And he might actually take care of that mushroom as well. Uh. Please don't, thank you. Okay, that was scary. So we're off to a rough start already. Um, now I have to pay a lot of attention to these puff shrooms. When they start shooting, I know exactly where I'm gonna be putting my next puff shroom so it can get rid of the next zombie. Uh, there we go, that helps. So getting those initial four out is super duper important. Uh, get that sun, there we go. So it's a bit of a struggle to get these sunflowers out at first, but as soon as we can start rolling, it should be fine. Okay, uh, put that there. Not bad, get another one, put it there. It is not gonna be easy at first. We might wanna do three rows of sunflowers on the top and bottom to compensate for how slow it is. This is why it might be better to do puff shrooms. Honestly, I've never really tried it too much with uh, World 4, but maybe now it's time to try. Okay, so we can sort of make a ton of puff shrooms now, just like as many as we can as we're trying to survive. Do, 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 do. So when it comes to where we wanna put the planterns, which we can now afford, we probably wanna put them like right here and right there. Right now this is a bit of an issue though because we have a cone head. Are right, these guys gonna be able to get rid of them? Let me just go ahead and do that as like a bit of precaution. And then, oh boy, that's scary. Okay, he got him. That's good because now I can see what's going on up there. And that helps me prepare a lot, a lot more than you'd expect. The only problem now is that that one puff shroom is pretty much useless, but that's sort of to be expected. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those guys there. It's just this first part is really tough. It makes everything feel so much easier now, you know? <laughs> Compared to what it was before. It's like, I can see clearly now the fog has gone. I can see all the zombies in my way. And they're all very scary. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and do that combo. It looks like we're gonna be able to get rid of that dude without too much of an issue. Um, it's a little bit of an issue, actually. This is where maybe spike weeds could have come in handy. All right then, so with all of that, I'm gonna put that there. And uh, I think we're gonna slow you down. The only downside to uh, snow peas, especially in the nighttime levels, is that they're a little costly. Um, I think that, you know, would be a fun combo. I think doing next level, we could try a scaredy shroom setup. I don't use that plant nearly enough. I think it's a fun one. It can be really helpful in a lot of situations. Um, I'm gonna keep putting puff shrooms out as much as I possibly can because they're never not helpful. Hmm. I think that's fine for now. 
I think that we should start occupying the water lane a little bit more. We gotta keep in mind we don't have any kind of tangle kelp, so whatever we can get in those water lanes to help us out is gonna be huge. All right, I have a lot of sun coming in at this point. I just actually need to start spending it a bit more. Uh, try to put that there. You there, you here. Okay, just constantly placing things down from here on out. We could do more than one ice pea per lane. I just didn't know how hard it was gonna be to afford this. Um, I mean, honestly, the uh, plantern is a little more cheaper than I remember. You know, we'll do one more row of sunflower. Actually, that's probably totally unnecessary. We already have 250 sun coming in. Or we have 250 sun with a lot of sun coming in already. That's what I meant to say. Okay, put that there. Maybe we could have had some kind of explosive plant that might have been helpful. But as things are now, I think we're fine. I think I'm gonna replace that walnut just as a precaution. All right, things are going well. But we do have two waves to survive. Don't we have an all, oh yeah, we do have a football zombie. I think we have a jack in the box as well. So having multiple snow peas certainly won't hurt. It won't, of course, reapply that snow damage or the snow slowdown, but uh, it'll be helpful just for the extra damage because of course they do more damage than a uh, a puff shroom would do. And they have larger range, so they're gonna be able to use that damage sooner too. So things are going all right. I think that we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing there. I'm just gonna have like a little army of puff shrooms at the moment, because it's just what's gonna help us. Puff shrooms, sea shrooms, the works. Okay, get that there. And then finally, uh... oh hey, diamond, nice! It's gonna be a thousand coins. We're almost at 5,000 now, which is pretty cool. I still think we're trying to earn up 10,000, right? Something like that. Uh, grab those two, put that there. So potato mines weren't really that helpful. Um, I don't think I used a single potato mine this round. Thought I might have, but with the fog, it's really hard to work with, so I think that we'll skip, or stick with puff shrooms for now, because they sort of do what I need them to do. We'll keep with the sunflower puff shroom and then try some other experiments. Like I said, I think a uh, scaredy shroom would be a lot of fun. So we'll probably try that. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I don't think it needs to be replaced, even though that walnut has taken some damage. I think we're good. We're just gonna keep on laying on this, uh, Nice amount of snow peas. It's a cool little uh, design we got going on with the, with the yard. Get that coin, and then grab this and that. All right, it was a bit of a struggle getting here, but we did just fine. Hmm. I mean, I could start doing that. Oh gosh, clicked off the game, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Okay, it's the final wave. We got this guy. We got, uh, is, this, is he gonna explode? I guess there's too many things attacking him right now. Uh, yep, okay, he got taken out before it was an issue. I'm really just trying to slow down this all-star then, as much as I possibly can. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be just fine. Because as soon as he starts really working on, actually, I probably should start doing this though, just in case, because they're gonna eat through this walnut pretty quickly, even with uh, all this extra stuff. Come on, it's about broken. Put another one down. Pick up all of this sun. Even though I don't need too much of it. Get another snow pea out. I mean, I don't really need the plantern anymore either, but we'll just keep it out here for good measure. But I think, yeah, we already got rid of them. Awesome, so we just won. And what plant do we get for that? Let's find out, oh boy! It's a classic, one of my favorites. I'm pretty sure you can guess what it is. It is a 125 cost plant called the cactus. Shoot spikes that can pop balloons. So that was just an overall very cool looking plant. I love it. So we are back in the backyard again. And as you can see, to pop balloons, we need a zombie that has balloons, which is the balloon zombie. Uh, a bit of a tough one to deal with, but we're gonna deal with it all the all the same. So actually that could be pretty fun. Hmm, I'm trying to like weigh how I wanna do this. I think I wanna ke keep it the sunflower and the puff shrooms. Um, I'm gonna do, Scaredy Shroom, Ice Shroom, Walnut, Cactus, Plantern, Lily Pad. Gonna be a little bit difficult, but if things get nasty, I have that Ice Shroom. We can make this work. I just gotta be quick with it. Um, I'm keeping this back lane for uh, Scaredy Shrooms. Not gonna place one right now, because I feel like that would just be plain silly. That's not what I meant to do, but hey, it still works. But yeah, just trying to get those puff shrooms out as fast as physically possible is what we want right now. So if we could get all four of them out before the uh, zombie shows up. Okay, so he just showed up. 
but there's only a couple places he could possibly be. So if he's on that bottom lane, that's just unlucky for me. Okay, so it looks like he was on the second to the top. So I know where I'm placing my next pop shroom. I don't know why I put that there. No, I didn't mean to do that. That was just instinctual. Okay, well, it should still be fine. Might be a little bit tough to put a scaredy shroom here, but I cannot afford to place down another, uh, I like get rid of that sunflower. I need to make sure that all my sunflowers are being used properly. So I'm just gonna leave that how it is. Uh, and we're just gonna keep putting down puff shrooms. The plantain's gonna be helpful. Maybe it's not that big of a deal as long as we properly prepare for everything. Maybe we just don't need it. Uh, get that there. So we already have uh, four puff shrooms out. No, eight puff shrooms out. Very cool. Very productive. So unless they're throwing out like really, really early uh, cone heads, we should be okay. Uh, Come on, I still can't justify throwing out a scaredy shroom just yet. Soon, but not now. Need a couple more sunflowers doing their job. Okay, so I can place this, I can place this here. Let's do that. There we go. And I don't know when the scaredy shroom's gonna end up being useful. I thought we would have more sun by, by now. Okay, I was hoping I could have more sun by the time uh, the next sunflower was available. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, but that's okay, that's okay. Okay, I need more sun. Got it, got it. Put that here. Uh-oh, already, already, wow, that was really quick. That was alarmingly quick. Maybe I should have focused on cacti first. Okay, so where are you? There's a balloon zombie, I heard it. Where is it? It's right here. So, how this works is we get the cactus and then plop. But this is the problem, is that he's still gonna be attacking. This might be our first loss. This might be our first loss, this is a problem. Oh no, oh no, this is a big problem. Okay, bad stuff, indeed. Uh, I might just have to let you hit the pool. Like, I just can't afford to make that happen right now. This is a big mistake. Everything's a mistake right now. Do that, put, okay. This guy is scared. Oh, because of the zombie next to him. I didn't know that they got scared by the zombies in the surrounding lanes. Okay, so I'm just gonna let him hit the pool. Unfortunately, I feel like that's the best idea I got right now. Um. Oh, jeez. Um, let me go ahead and do that. Maybe not the best spot for it, but we gotta start putting you there, and then I just gotta do this. Jeez Louise, we can replace it later. This went really bad, really fast. The final wave already, wow, this is much quicker than I thought. Oh my gosh, we may lose. We may just lose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's a balloon one down there though. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is probably the most sloppy I've gotten. It, it would have worked if I pulled, like if I had more time, unfortunately, I did not. Um, we need a lot of sun to deal with that guy because the, the problem with the balloon zombies is that they do not hit the the, the uh, lawnmowers, I don't think. So if we don't hit him with the cactus, he'll just fly right over and game over us. Okay, so we got him. Luckily, they just instantly disappear in that situation. Um, we need to block you off because if not, we lose. Okay, so we were able to survive this. It was probably one of our most sloppy rounds yet, but it worked, so what's it matter? Um, okay, so you're gone. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then Puff Shroom. Oh my gosh, that was just straight up scary. Uh, Come on, come on, come on. That was decent. He still has a lot of health right now. Let's go ahead and freeze him. Freeze him, freeze that dude up. And just keep hitting him. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the most convoluted thing. But it's working! It's working! Yeah, okay, so that'll make things easier so we don't have to rely on the uh, plant turn as much. Basically use this instead. It is the Blubber 100 Sun, blows away all balloon zombies and fog. Now the thing is, they don't come back, so that's pretty good. We're gonna keep this thing and use this a lot. I like the cactus, so it's fun to use, so I think we're gonna keep with it, but maybe try a better strategy. Um, I just wanna double check the almanac. Some people were saying that you can see the damage of a plant, but clearly that's not the case. Well, I mean, there is damage. Okay, yeah, there is damage. Sometimes. Um, yeah, damage normal. So there's no like number to it, unfortunately. Um, but that should still work. Damage normal, so zombies. Damage normal for HP. Okay. Uh, damage normal. Damage normal. So that's sort of the thing. So these two do the same damage. Like I feel like I don't know if that's actually the case. Um, but you do normal damage as well. So technically you would do the same amount of damage as a pea shooter, then, right? I'd have to imagine. But I don't think that's actually true. Um, still on the fence if we should be using sunflowers over puff shrooms. I don't know. I think that maybe this could be better. We're gonna try it. 
And we're also gonna get cacti and blubbers and lily pads and that. And I got one more space for one more card. I think it should be a walnut. Might be an interesting combo, but I think it could work if we could just get a lot of them out very quickly. Uh, so, there we go. Maybe a little too far out, but it'll work, it's fine. But yeah, this might be a bit tough. I am playing it a risky with a lot of these strategies, but I think it's worth it. Okay. Where are those zombies at? Because I'm gonna deal with them. We're gonna take them out. Don't know where the zombies are popping up, but they're gonna be popping up soon. I don't think they ever pop up in the water lane first, but I'm gonna take precautions against it nonetheless. So they are on the second to bottom lane. Hard to tell at first. That's why it's sort of not good to put them that far into the fog. It can be hard to tell where they actually are at first. But we're definitely gonna put the cactus in the far back lane, I think. Would be a good idea just that way. The cactus has time to take out uh, whatever might be coming its way. But we got a lot of work until then. I mean, it will be nice to play the blubbers uh, whenever that situation comes up, but in the meantime, it would be a lot more practical to get cacti up. And why that is, is because the blubber has to recharge. Once the blubber is played, it just disappears. It's not like a permanent plant like the plantern or anything like that, so that's why it's tough to have it first. Uh, but yeah, we're shooting away those zombies. Apparently there's somebody on the bottom lane. Not anymore. <laughs> All right, awesome. So I could start also putting these guys in the, in the water. It'll help eventually, that's for sure. So it looks like they're in that lane. I'm eventually going to make it three rows of sunstorms, I think. Maybe that's not necessary, but we'll find out. It's just so slow at first, it's a little scary. Uh, come on, put that there. I do see that cone head up there. It's probably gonna put her first. Cactus, awesome. We do need these, uh, these sunstorms to start growing up though, that's for sure. Uh, for now, because I don't have anywhere to put them. Got it, got it. Okay, not bad. I'm just gonna start putting more and more puff shrooms as if not anything else, a precaution. Okie doke, got some of that. Put this there, and then uh, this there. So it looks like there is something in the water lane. Hard to tell, I think that guy was shooting. Maybe not. Okay, so that's all the sun shrooms I want at the moment. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I could, uh, I mean, I gotta be precautionary here. It looks like there is somebody coming in that water lane. I don't know what it's gonna be though. I mean, I could just try this anyways, see if that works. Okay, that's a little scary, but it should be fine. We can get rid of it, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna put some shrooms there. I think it's gonna be the best idea I got for right now. But soon enough, we'll be able to play this blubber. Okay, so it looks like that's that uh, Tangled Kelp got something. So we could play this now. I don't think it's the best idea just yet. I just need more cacti out here, that's for sure. Okay, these guys are shooting, so I'll put something there. Soon enough, you guys will see the power of the blubber. Keep on wanting to call it Glover, but no, that's that's a platforming game. Okay, so we do need to make sure there actually is room to play the blubber, but this is probably where we're gonna wanna play it. Um, I have no clue what's coming, but this is a major wave, so the chances are high it's going to have to be some balloon zombie. So we place it, and then boom, it just blows away everything um, that you know was blocking your vision. And any of the balloon zombies, I don't think the balloon zombies come back either. They are sort of like gone. Um, Gonna play that there for now, and then wall on it. There we go. The fog will come back. It's not gone for good. That's something also to keep in mind. Um, okay, so there we go. That cat is doing its work. Awesome stuff. And there we go. We got a full row of cacti now. And here it comes creeping back in. As soon as these uh, sunshrooms start growing, it becomes much, much better. I can just do it again, just constantly. Uh, we got another one coming in, but as soon as we have a full row of cacti, I really don't care about the balloon zombies anymore. They're way too weak to be a problem. Uh, so put that there, and then do a bit of that. But we do have dolphin riders in this. There we go, here we go, asking you shall receive. He's like, did somebody say my name? Yeah, I did. You're a jerk. All right, so we'll start working on double row of cacti, because it's just sort of a bit more productive. Blow that away. It looks like I actually blowed away a balloon as well, which is, you know, it doesn't hurt. One last thing to shoot at, because you know that balloon thing has to come back down to the ground and then it becomes a normal zombie that we have to shoot. Unless it's above the water, then it just instantly gets taken out, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab that coin, put this there. Okay, we're doing pretty well. So these walnuts are taking a bit of a beating in the water, which I don't appreciate. 
doing what I can about it all. I'm definitely just gonna blow that away. I just really, really want the space to see. Cause it, like, it gets very overwhelming when you can't see everything. There's another one of you, which I don't like. Glad I placed that one I did. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Cause he would have went right, oh, he did go over the walnut there. Well, that's just baloney. That is just maximum baloney. Uh, all right, I'm getting a little distracted. I need to be able to do this stuff too. Okay, so maybe I'll just do a little row of those. That might help. <laughs> okay, so uh, blubber again, just like that. And then, uh, oh, you immediately got taken down. And then, oh gosh, problems. There we go, that should be fine. I think we're good with this. I think we'll be able to output just enough damage that things will be okay. It's gonna be tough to tell. I and mean, we got lots of sun at this point. The problem is just waiting for everything to restore properly to get rid of it all. And it looks like we've done exactly just that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Play another one of these for good measure. But this is why the bluffer is really, really great. You're gonna wanna have it in your seed slots probably permanently. I mean, the, the plant turn can be good. There's a lot of just times where it isn't. It's because you have to place it and then just takes up room. Ooh, a taco! Delicious. Okay, so why did we get a taco? What are you going to do with a taco? <laughs> I was asking the same thing. You found my magic taco! I must have it, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Yes, the taco is mine. Why did I give you so much for a taco? Because I'm crazy! <laughs> Take a look around my shop. You'll notice I got some new items in stock. Ooh, 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 you do. Oh, nine slots is 20,000. Um, you can also see we have a couple of extra plants as well. We have this guy, plant these on your repeaters to turn them into Gatling Peas. Gatling Peas shoot for four peas at a time. We have plant these on your sunflowers to turn them into twin sunflowers. Twin sunflowers give twice as much sun as a sunflower. Uh, plant these on your fume shrooms to turn them into gloom shrooms. Gloom shrooms do rapid attacks in a small area. And finally, put these on your lily pads to turn them into cattails. Cattails can attack any lane and take down balloons zombies, very, very good. The only thing is that these are all very expensive. I'd rather save for the seed slots. Honestly, I personally don't buy any upgraded plants until I'm already done the story mode. Ooh, here we go, one of my favorites, me and Batty. Well, no, me and my buddy, not my Batty. Uh, me and my buddy Harvey, Flaxcaster, used to break vases when we were bored. Well, Harvey's out of town, so you're coming with me, Harvey number two. <laughs> break it like you mean it, Harvey. I've never seen Harvey before. I don't know if he's actually a character. Oh man. So the thing about Phase Breaker that's really scary is that you never know what you're gonna get inside of it. Please, okay. I was a little worried he wasn't actually gonna squish. Okay, cool. So I don't need to put any plants there because there's clearly no zombies. All right. Um, I'm gonna do this. See, the idea is that we're supposed to guess which ones have zombies and which ones don't. Luckily, they gave us a very, very easy one. So we were able to do it just fine. And there we go, that's a vase breaker. It gets much more complicated. As you can see, man, you break those vases nice and good. Broke them like them. The time I broke my back digging through those trash cans. Jeez, that must have hurt. Uh, here, I brought you some more vases. Gotta be careful about breaking them too fast though. You don't wanna end up with more zombies than you can handle, huh? huh Okay, so that's a zombie. I don't know if I wanna place that there just yet. Okay, snow pea. And a pea shooter should be enough to get rid of a bucket head from that distance. We only need one pea shooter there. We can get a snow pea there and a pea shooter here. It's all just sort of like, I, I, I have a hard time explaining the strategy for something like this. Definitely going to squash you. Um, Cause it's really hard to say. Um, you can't just leave these plants here forever either. They will eventually disappear. Um, so that's something I'm trying to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and squash all of these guys. Luckily it's really, really easy here in the story mode. All right. This should be the last of them. Break these and you'll be all done. All right, so let's try for that. Um, I'm gonna put you here. Here we got this guy. Oh gosh, Disco Zombie's a big problem. Hypno Shroom, Hypno Shroom. Uh, okay, that should be decent. That was pretty good. Uh, this is a lot of zombies. I am making maybe too many of them. Uh, if I could have you turn into something and then you're gonna, oh gosh, you explode more of them. <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, I don't know what this is gonna be. Okay, that's just a normal zombie. That's not a big problem. Okay, who can I get rid of here? These guys, and then these guys, then like turn you into a friend. There we go, we got him. And look at that, we got a very, very weird looking bee shooter. 
what is what in the world is going on with this guy? You may be asking. He is a split pea. Shoot peas from forward and backwards. Why in the world will we need that? Well, we're gonna find out in the next episode. That is World 4, or first half of World 4. We're gonna be tackling the ne second half in the next episode. Very awesome stuff. I'm loving this game so much. Hopefully you guys are too. But like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If you like this video, make sure you comment Zebra Taco so I know you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.